Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. Today, we're doing a program called Rainbows in Nature, which is a program kind of in to introduce young children and their families to butterflies, their life cycles, and just have a good time and give them a sneak peek at this butterfly house. Sweetbriar Nature Center was an estate owned by Edith Blydenberg, and in her will, she donated it to the town of Smithtown. Not just the house, but the, the 27 or 28 acres that the house was situated on. And she wanted to make sure it was preserved in perpetuity so that people could enjoy the natural world. It's interesting that people have such a fear of insects and yet they love butterflies. So uh, we tried to kind of draw people here with the idea that butterflies are beautiful and then teach them that they're insects and insects are important, not just butterflies, but some of the things they might say ew to. I'm gonna show them a walking stick. I'm gonna show them a tarantula. Whether they stay in the room is another story. <laughs> I'm gonna show them uh, a lizard and a frog because they like to eat insects. I am flying high in the sky and you can't catch me. I asked Michelle Zimmerman, who I met uh, when she visited the Nature Center one day and was really enthusiastic. I'm writing this book about butterflies and all of that. Um, so I invited her over the past few years to come about once a year to do a program on butterflies. It gives her a chance to uh, show off her book and what she does, and it gives us a chance to have someone see butterflies maybe from a little different perspective than we give. I'm just so thankful I have butterflies by my side. Today is all about springtime and about rainbows in nature. So since my book's about butterflies, you can't go much better than butterflies and rainbows. So I'm going to be doing a story time centered around my book, Can't Catch a Butterfly, and then doing all kinds of butterfly activities associated with it. Finger puppets, we're going to be going on a butterfly hunt, we're going to be doing a parachute game. One of the highlights is all the children get to wear wings, so they're all going to be little bitty butterflies, my little butterfly friends. For the boys, it's the nets, they all get to get nets and catch butterflies, and there's nothing better than that. And um, finger puppets. I tell them we're going to Hollywood and they're going to be butterfly performers and let me tell you they all perform. We go through the whole life cycle here. We have the chrysalis and the cocoons that where the butterflies and moths emerge and then we also have host plants where they lay their eggs because butterflies and moths are very picky about where they lay their eggs. Um, and then of course they emerge as caterpillars. They go through their five or six stages where they shed their skeletons and grow a new one and then we get back to the chrysalis and cocoon stage. So people who come here see almost every stage of the butterfly. 